In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a guitar MIDI foot switch in Reaper. Now the guitar MIDI foot switch I'm using is by iRig and it's called the Blue Board. I chose this because it's pretty cheap and pretty easy to use. But everything we do in this video can apply to any guitar MIDI foot switch you're using. And I've already set up a project with a different track for every guitar sound I want to use. So we can switch between track by track using a guitar MIDI foot switch. And I kept it simple with just four sounds. But of course, you could apply this to as many presets as you can choose with your guitar MIDI foot switch. But let's go through what I set up. On my first track, I named it Guitar One Rhythm. And on the track effects, I used the Amplitude 5 plugin, which looks like this. And it's the free version. And it sounds like this. <laughs> It's just a good basic rhythm standard Marshall sound that I could use for rhythm guitar. And the next sound, guitar two, is a British amp. And I used the Kawasa Amplification Light plugin, which is also free, right here. And I also used a delay right after it to create a bit of a slapback effect, which sounds like this. As you can tell, it's a standard, kind of jangly and edgy British amp guitar sound. And next, for guitar three, I chose another Amplitude 5 sound, but this time I used the preset called Rotary, which is the Marshall amp, but also a tremolo effect, which sounds like this. <laughs> It's a more special guitar sound with a rotating effect, affecting the pitch and volume over time. And then finally, I created a preset for a guitar solo with a more heavy sustain, and I used the Amped Roots plugin, which is also free, which looks like this. And in addition, I added some delay, a ping pong delay that pans left and right, and a reverb. And this sound sounds like this. Just a very standard, very heavy guitar solo sound, very compressed and saturated. So now I want to use all these sounds one after another and switch them using my guitar MIDI foot switch. And we can do this by creating custom actions, as we need multiple actions to turn each track on and off while putting each track into record and taking the other tracks out of record at the same time. So let's see how to do that. We'll go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, then we'll type into the filter Unarm. There's an action right here to unarm all tracks for recording. This is going to take all the other tracks out of record before we put the one into record we want. So we'll start with this one, go to new action, and create a new custom action. We'll name it MIDI foot switch one. Then we'll add after this action, another action to put the chosen track into record. So we'll type into the filter arm one, and right over here is an action to toggle record for track one. Drag this over. Now we have a custom action that's going to take all the other tracks out of record and just put track one into record. So we're choosing preset one. We'll save it. And now we have that action right over here MIDI foot switch one. Now we can duplicate this as many times as we need. Right click. Duplicate custom action, and we'll do this three times. 
to create four custom actions, one for each preset we want to choose. Let's go to this one and edit it. We'll rename it MIDI Foot Switch 2. Then we'll delete this one and replace it with Record Arm 2. And just do that for each one. Go to this one, edit it, delete this, bring this one over and save it. And this one, And now we have four actions right here. And of course we can create as many as we need. So now if we double click this one to trigger it, this track goes into record and the others come out of record. Do the same for each, preset two, preset three, and preset four. So it's working perfectly. So now we just need to trigger each action using a guitar MIDI foot switch. We'll go to the first one, go to add, and just touch our guitar MIDI foot switch with the button we want to use for preset one. For me, it shows up like this, and just do that for each one. And now we can close this window. Hit the MIDI foot switch based on the preset we want to hear. And now we're hearing that track. Switch it to two. And now we're hearing that track, or three, or four. So it's working perfectly. And we could use this just to mess around with the transport stopped, or even play along with any tracks we set up. I have a track set up here that I could play along with. And it's as simple as hitting the buttons on my guitar MIDI foot switch as the song is playing. Let's check it out. Because we're actually using the record buttons, we can record our performances this way, with each part being recorded to different tracks as we hit the switches on the guitar MIDI foot switch, like this.
And now we can see we have each part on a different track. And we can go back and we record some of them or do multiple passes this way and choose our keeper takes later. But keep in mind, because we did this based on the track numbers, you do want to make sure you keep these tracks in the same order for the custom actions to work. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use a guitar MIDI foot switch in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.